Guys, before we get into today's video, I do have a request for you. Could we hit 2000 likes on this video? Get those like smashing thumbs ready for your boy. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. And also don't forget to subscribe. We actually just got verified on YouTube today. You see that crispy check mark? Pretty damn nice. So join us, subscribe to the channel and enjoy this video that we've got coming up for you right now. Welcome to this video. Now, as I promised in yesterday's video and I asked you guys if you wanted to see it and you said yes, we would talk about what's happened to Omolon. Now, I do know, and I'm going to preface this before we get into the video, that there are one or two Omolon guns out in the wild. In fact, the Cold Denial Pulse Rifle, I believe, is an Omolon gun. You also have the Jack Queen King and the Uriel's Gift. So they're three weapons that actually are Omolon, but they're not Omolon Omolon, if you get what I'm saying. They're all kind of, you know, they are Omolon guns, but they're from different sort of weapon sets. And the other thing I wanted to say before we get started as well is... I'm not advocating for just bringing back old weapons. I believe we need loads of new guns. But the point of this video is I don't see why it would hurt to maybe take this, you know, maybe take this and one or two others I'm going to show you in a second and give them some new updated perks and just throw them into the game too. And say you're bringing, you know, say you're bringing four original new guns. Why not throw in four Omelon guns back into the game as well because a lot of these guns haven't really featured in the game since year one all the way back in 2017 so it really would not hurt if Bungie would do this so we're going to get into the video and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go through a couple of weapons I think really should come back and really I just want to wonder why they haven't now Bungie have repurposed a couple of year one guns but they have been very very I don't know what's the word frugal with their choices here's an example the steady hand was a year one hand cannon you can see this is the sunset version in year one it came with just outlaw <laughs> fixed roll by the way um and it wasn't very good obviously now they brought a new version back and it's the meta 120s are the meta now going back to the submachine gun section i want to focus on this weapon now you saw this weapon a little bit in yesterday's video i made a peacekeeper video and to be honest with you whenever i do a peacekeeper video i always use this smg now there's a future war called Omelon SMG, the stochastic variable. This weapon has not been in circulation since year one. Once they disbanded factions, you didn't really see these weapons again. And I really do not understand why they have left out such a cool and unique weapon type for so long. Like I said, it hasn't really been in the game or been relevant in the game since 2017 slash 18. Of course, the back end of 2018, this weapon was made basically useless in end game activities after Forsaken launched. So it's been a long, long time of inactivity for this weapon. Now, I did touch on it yesterday in yesterday's video. We can see here, this is something cool. This weapon has phase magazine, increases damage whilst lowering rate of fire, decreases magazine size. So it's a 900 RPM by default, but if you want to, you can make it into a 600 RPM. This one was particularly fantastic because it came with Torch HS3 and it had a variety of top tier magazine perks and it had one of the best, if not the best, perk for full auto weapons, tap the trigger. Now imagine a stochastic variable with Torch, you know, phase mag, tap the trigger and kill clip. You throw that into the game and whatever, whatever activity you make it related to, People will farm it, even if SMGs don't feel that great. I'm telling you guys, if, if you have access to this gun, take it out for a spin. If you think SMGs are bad, just try this weapon. There is something really, really cool about the Omelon weapons, and this is a great example of a weapon that Bungie should most certainly just bring back to the game. It would not hurt them in any way whatsoever, in my opinion. Now, you had a couple of other options here. Speaking of options, no pun intended, but this one is called Out of Options. This is another Omelon weapon. Another SMG, again, had that cool perk, Phase Magazine. And, you know, these weapons have value to the game that currently they just are unable to bring. Now, I want to switch over to Pulse Rifles now. Now, again, if you guys played the beta of Destiny 2, you might remember the Nurgle PR4. This was a really, really good gun. One of the most powerful weapons at the time. And it's a pretty poor archetype right now. The 450 RPM Pulse Rifles are not in a good spot. But yo, imagine if they buffed 450 RPM pulses and then threw this into the game. Again, similar to Stochastic Variable, it did come, even though it was a fixed roll, with some great perks. You had Torch HS3, you had a choice of Ricochet or Steady, and it had full auto trigger system. Imagine this thing dropped into the game with new perks. How awesome would that be? Imagine if you just gave an underperforming archetype a little boost, similar to Steady Hand, and boom, 
once again, you have a desirable weapon in the game and something for people to farm for and just a reason for people to play and then it would be a great weapon in your hands once you finally get it. It's a no-brainer, it's an open goal. These Omolon guns have a lot of value. These foundry weapons definitely had more potential unlocked in Destiny 1 with the gunsmith and the weekly weapons that he would have available for you. Obviously, they've never done anything with that in Destiny 2, which is very disappointing. And yeah, the Omolon Pulse Rifle, the Nurgle PR4. Bring it back, Bungie. What are you waiting for? Why are you sitting on these guns? Another thing I wanted to ask you guys is how many of you guys have access to this weapon in your collections? It'd be very interesting for me to know in the comment section how many of you actually played Destiny 2 Year 1. Because a massive portion of the player base quit the game as a result of Destiny 2 Year 1's very, very flawed and poor execution. And so even though to some veteran players this might be an old gun, to some players they'll have never seen this weapon and it's probably something that they will consider going for. And you know, it's completely fresh to them. Give this thing a fresh perk pool, boom. I don't know anything about game development, but how hard is it? I wish Bungie would just tell us how hard is it to just add new perks, perk pool, put it in the game. How hard could it possibly be? I, I really don't understand. This is another really, really cool one. The Heart of Time. This is a 540 RPM pulse rifle. Rapid fire pulses feel really, really good. Now I'm just picturing a rapid fire Omelon pulse with tap the trigger and rampage or something like that. It would be absolutely crispy if they were to repurpose this weapon. I bet a massive portion of you have never seen this gun. It's a 540 Omelon. It would be absolutely crispy. Once again, how hard could it be? Add random rolls, drop it in the game. Next season, they say they're adding four new unique legendary weapons and they're bringing back Palindrome and one, two others. Why be so stingy, man? Why are Bungie so, so stingy with bringing back weapons? I really would like to know. So again, I would nominate this one, the Heart of Time. So how many weapons have I nominated for you now? I think at least three or four, but I'm not done there. We still have some other weapons I want to show you now particularly the scout rifles. If you guys go to my YouTube channel, I did do a video on a Destiny 1 scout rifle. It was an Omolon scout called the Kakaitis, and there is not a single like for like in Destiny 2 because high impact Omolon scout rifles do not exist in this game. That being said, we did have some 200 RPM scout rifles in Destiny 2 Year 1. This is a particular favorite of mine, the Manananan SR4. Comes with explosive payload, steady rounds, and it's got one or two decent sights. Even if I was to pull this thing out today in the current Crucible, I would do pretty well with it. It's a great weapon. But once again, like all of these other Omelon guns, it has been completely useless in endgame activities for going onwards of three years now. And I want to ask you guys again in the comment section, how many of you guys have seen this weapon? How many of you guys have seen this weapon or ever used it? I really would like to know. I know a lot of people cry about, we want new guns, and I already said this at the beginning of the video, I want new guns too, guys. I want new guns too. So yeah, here's another example, the Manananan. Throw that back in the game. Give it some good rolls. You had the Palladius Corrector as well. This is the future War Cult version of the weapon. Imagine the excitement that Bungie would create if they just did an Omolon drop. You could take the Stochastic Variable, you could take the Nurgle, you could take the Heart of Time, you could take the Manananan, and boom, that's a, an Omolon drop right into the game. And that, alongside a couple of brand new, unique legendaries that are actually good and desirable, plus the Palindrome and one or two other D1 classics that are returning. If they were to do something like that, you know, how many guns total would we be looking at then? Maybe like 10 or 11. And out of those weapons, only four of them would be brand new. So development time-wise, how hard would it be to just drop this thing back into the game, along with a couple of these other D1 weapons that are returning. Maybe they could bring back the Kokaitis. I would probably never complain about anything in this game ever again if they were to bring back the Kokaitis, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's all I've got to say really. We've gone through some Omelon weapons I think need to come back. I would love Bungie to give us an explanation as to what happened to these guns. If you guys don't like this idea, that's fine. You can let me know in the comment section as long as you're not an absolute jerk about it, you know? No need to be a you know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video.